So this concept of hypnodrama and the theater of the mind brings up a very good question. Is that theater created by the therapist or is it created by the mind of the client? It's a fantastic question. And the answer is by the client because the symbology that develops there has to do with the person's ideology. Not everybody goes into a medieval lifetime, a castle, a dragon. Not everybody goes into that kind of situation. Sometimes the scenery that develops in the person's awareness is extremely symbolic. I remember once a man came here and was having a situation with his life and we go into hypnosis and he says that he sees himself standing on the top of a mountain. And um, I asked him to look down because he was at the top of the mountain and he looks down and he says that there's a horse drinking water by a stream, by a river, a small river. And I asked him, who is the horse? And he says, it's me. And who is at the top of the mountain? It's also me. And to make a long story short, he sees himself as both the horse looking down, only interested in drinking the water, and also sees himself as a more spiritual entity at the top of the mountain, look up into the heavens and seeking spiritual growth and so forth. And that's the famous duality that we so much talk about in metaphysics. Here we are so concerned with the details and daily affairs of daily life, and we're also the divine entity looking to grow and perhaps get closer to God, if that's, what, that's a part of your belief system. But the point I'm making is that the scenery that develops may be quite symbolic. It may not even refer to what you would normally think of as a past life. It may be entirely imaginary. A person may see themselves in an environment which is perhaps underwater or on a different planet because that's what they're thinking about. And the important thing about this is that that drama that develops, and the word drama here doesn't mean it's negative. By drama, I mean like a movie, like a theater. And by, by going through the, the, the emotions and by going through the emotions that happen, they can always find the answer to the question, the solution to the problem, or the achievement of the objective for which they came here. So the drama comes from, their, from your own mind, and that's good because there's no chance of getting it wrong. It comes from you, it is your journey, the therapist is there to help along, to guide along and to make sure that you're always, um, that you're always uh, successfully achieve your objective. Good question.